Hey, it's Spence from WP Launch Club with your WordPress tip of the day. Hey guys, sorry about my voice. I have a little laryngitis this week, but I wanted to introduce you one of my other utility plugins. Came about from scratching, again, one of my own itches here. Uh, over at WPLaunchify.com, most of what we sell through WooCommerce is virtual. In other words, it's services and things that can be delivered online. However, we do have a large contingency now of overseas clients who need the VAT invoices. I have some customers who are very satisfied just giving email, first name, and last name, but others are like, look, I really would like to fill out my VAT and other information so it shows up on the invoice. By the way, we use a free invoice plugin to deliver those. I can show you that in a second. So what I've come up with is this new solution I'm calling Toggle Optional Billing Fields. It just rolls right off the tongue. Um, it's a way for us to have, even using launch flows, the full array of fields available, but it allows somebody to just not bother with them if they don't want to do so. So in this case, for example, if I was checking out with a virtual product, I don't have to do more than email first and last name. If I wanted to, I could put in the other information so that I have it available on my invoice that I can self-apply. Now in this case, I'm using one of the many available checkout field managers that I'm really pleased to see have come on the market. So what I did here was I went to the billing settings and in the shop kit uh, checkout manager, I made the email first and then first and last name, which is what you see on the front. You'll notice, however, I edited all the other fields and for the billing address number two, I just changed the label. So when you go in here, you just click edit. You can make the label whatever you want. And I made the placeholder explain to people what they're doing. I unchecked the required. Now you'll notice one other thing, and this is important to make this work. I added an additional class called toggle onto the end of each of these fields that I want to be inside of the toggle. And that's really important because that allows you to control which fields will be in the toggle element and which will not. Out of the box, when you just put the plugin in place, it will give you a short code that will allow you to put this link. And you can also change uh, when this is produced. You can change the wording and you can make it into a button or like I'm doing a link. And by the way, just to show you, if I go to my account here and under my orders, there will be the ability to see my invoice. Uh, you can also look at the actual order itself where it'll show you the details. So here's the billing address information, including my VAT number, which is one, two, three, four, five. Before I go to the invoice itself, I can show you under addresses, a person could come in and edit the information, which is useful. And then finally, if I go over here to the orders, this is where most of the people do it. Uh, when I'm using the free uh, invoice plugin for WooCommerce orders, it will give me a PDF or allow my buyers to get a PDF that lists out the information, including the VAT number. This is Spence. I'll see you in the next video.